what happened in Manchester, UK. Today we're checking it out. Me and Regina that now is uh, photographing <laughs> this video. Hi. We have a vlog. Say hi. Hi. We have this vlog about Manchester and about the UK in general. We moved here half a year ago, maybe more. And today we are making a video about some news that happened in Manchester because we are thinking that before we came here to Manchester, it was different. Mm -hmm. And when I'm saying different, I'm talking about crime. Cream. Let's check out what happened in Manchester. I'll give you a clue. It involves knives. Yeah, knives will come soon. Spoiler alert. <laughs> what do we have here? A car gets stuck and the metro leak. Like seriously, how the hell this car stuck here in Manchester? Yeah. How the hell it came here? I don't see any road. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on here. This is so stupid. How the hell it, it came here? It stopped all the public transportation for hours because of this car. This one sounds like a story from the movies or something. You won't believe this. An international drugs dealer boss who lived staggering life of luxury jailed for 37 years. 37 wow. years over drugs. In Manchester? In Manchester. I love the court system here. It sounds like it's a good one. It knows the years. job. An international boss who enjoyed an extraordinary <laughs> lavish lifestyle. I don't know what is that word. Lavish lifestyle founded by crime <laughs> has been jailed for 37 years. Was involved on a high level cocaine conspiracy for wow. almost a decade before he was brought to justice. Mm -hmm. Now, you know what I found strange here in the UK? Mm -hmm. I don't know, for good or bad. I don't have any opinion about that. It's just a fact. The news everywhere giving photos and names of the criminals. It doesn't <laughs> yeah. matter if they are 37 years in jail for drugs or if they stole a pencil. <laughs> they will put, if you're under arrest, they will take your picture put and your name and put you in the news. And everybody will do like, you know, shame like the shame. You. Yeah, shame, shame, shame. Like in the show. What's the name? Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones here in Manchester or in the UK. So you so, need to be careful yeah. when you steal something because you might be on the news with your full picture, name and age. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know, because they are saying crime doesn't pay, right? Maybe crime is pay because you can be famous. <laughs> you know, you can get famous really fast. Just do some cream. You don't need to be a drug dealer. You can also be... Steal like, a pencil yeah. and you're famous. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do here something crazy, okay? I'm going to this page, Manchester Evening News. I'm pressing here on the search button and I'm going just to write an innocent word. Innocent. S T A B. Stab. <laughs> Knife. Kill. Murder. Let's see if I got some result. And look at when and how, okay? 9 of June, 27 of May. Look at how many stabs, okay? What so, is going on? So in many Manchester? stabs. Yeah, what's going on in Manchester? Look how many stabs. People love to stab here. <laughs> what's going on? Is there is a knife party, stabbing party? Look at that. Two arrested after men stabbed outside the gym on Rachel Park. Now listen. Listen good. We're living here two minutes away. Mm -hmm. So this is under our house here in Manchester. Two arrested because someone decide and there is no, no reasons here. Why? Someone decide to stab someone in the gym. What Crazy. happened? He Crazy ran too world. fast. He lose more calories. What he did? He bought the last shoes in JD. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> That's a good reason to step someone over a shoe. But you know, it's not funny because something bad is happening in Manchester and I think it's time for it to stop. It's not cool. No, yeah, it's time to stop stabbing in Manchester. Stop it. What's wrong with you? Such a calm and peaceful city. Don't stab people. I agree. Two arrested after a man stabbed outside gym on Salford Racial Park. This is like central. You have to understand. It's central place. Yeah, center of Manchester. And again, they're putting here pictures, but there are no pictures of the suspects. Suspects. So this is a little bit strange. I can't find it here. But a few days ago, we read about someone that stabbed someone else in the head. How do you even stab someone in the head? I don't want to know. There is like a skull if you stab someone. I don't want to think about it. This is... What's going on here? I think the police has a lot of work to do to stop all those people that carrying knives. I don't know if the knife is the problem. It's humans. Okay, so there is another phenomenal here, here in Manchester. Something really stupid, really strange. Check this out. Dead suffered four degree burns when food melted. What? Ah, chills. As he stepped 
on scorching sand on Welsh beach. Now, they don't give a lot of information about this. All I imagine is somebody going to a beach. By the way, it's not in Manchester because there are no beaches here, obviously. Wales Beach. I don't know, in Wales Beach. It's not Manchester Beach News, UK News, doesn't matter. But his foot melted, four, four degree burns in his foot. How? How could this happen? You're just going in the beach and getting a serious burn. A really bad burn that will leave you a scar for the rest of your life. How? I'll tell you. How? People. People, yeah. So maybe my guess is that somebody took some charcoal, like mm -hmm. from barbecue, put it in the sand and put sand on it and somebody... J or maybe just put it there. I don't understand. Horrible. Yeah. Still, if somebody put sand on it on this, so it's supposed to cover it. So maybe the sand was extremely hot. Why don't you just put water on it? Exactly. I don't know what. What kind of respons responsibility is that? Now, listen, the weird stuff is that this is... Like something that, you know, you need some good chances for this to happen because it's a beach, it's a big place. Right. There are not a lot of people there. It's not packed with people. The chances that it won't happen to you. Now it happened to him and it happened again. You see that suffer for the grid? Now check this out. This is from the 7th of June 2021. Okay, now check this out. From the 2nd of June. Okay, you see this kid? All right. Stockport boy's foot melted like wax after stepping on hot sand. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Oh, this is God. so strange. Two? This is so retarded. What is be happening? Expense, be responsible after you're doing your barbecue or something. People don't need to suffer after you. Look at the kid. He's on the thing now. Because of what? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Because stepping on sand, that's all. Yeah. He can be paralyzed for life. Like, it's so sad. P. At least pee on your stuff, on your charcoal. <laughs> Yo, let me know in the comment section if you need more content like this about Manchester and about the UK. Don't forget to check out our other videos. Drop a comment, tell me what you think. Like this video and subscribe. See you later, loves. Next video. Bye. Bye. -bye.